If you're looking for a real thrill this month, skip the long lines at the local haunted house and instead take a field trip to one of Utah's scariest spots. Shemaine Wallenzine with Wandering Families has a list of some spooky outings to take this month, most of them free, which we love, and these yes. aren't commercialized activities. Oh, no, not at all. You have to go off the beaten track for some of them. Well, I've been doing this for a while. I consider myself a little bit in the know when oh, it comes absolutely. to out and about. I have not heard of, I think, one of these. I've oh, maybe good. heard of. They're all new to me, good, good, so good. I know they'll be new to a lot of people, which is exciting. We yes. love new traditions to reach for. First, you're sending us to Morrison Knudsen Tunnels. This is near Price. Right outside of Price, about 20 minutes. And uh, I didn't know this, but apparently in the 1950s, our government did top secret tunnels to, in case we were bombed by Russia. And oh. they still have all these tunnels. Now, some of them are gated, a lot of them are, but some are not. And if they are gated, they just open. I think it's just to keep wild animals from going in. So you're not going to be terrified by so wild. it's legal to go it look is legal. through these. It's, yep, and they're just off the main road going down towards the Buck Buckwash straw, really cool though. Like, what's, really. What's the scare factor, would you say? The spook factor? Um, well, my oldest is nine, and we were not nervous until we got to the very back of the tunnel, and there was some bats. <laughs> oh! And they flew, and that was a little nerve-wracking. <laughs> and they flew, and yes. we screamed. So we screamed, and we all ran back, and then everyone laughed about it. So I would say scare factor, a three. It, it sort of depends too how you play it up, depending right, and we on your did. children's ages, but yes. tunnels, yes. abandoned, We had little gated. flashlights, and my, yeah. yeah. This could get fun. Hard to find? Not hard at all. Okay. Really super simple, you just go on the buck wash straw. You'll see, you actually will see them off the side of the cool, road. Cool, very yep. cool. Your next activity is nearby. What else should we try out in price? Oh my goodness, this is a once a year they do this on Halloween, so the 27th, 28th, 30th and 31st, they heat up their wave pool to 90 degrees and they have all these inner tubes and they show scary, not super scary, but scary stories on their bubble. Is oh, that not the cutest thing? Oh my goodness, so the pool is haunted. The wave pool is haunted. Not really, And but, warm. but warm. Yeah, and they only do it that weekend. That is so exciting. So this is the Spook and Swim is what it's called yes. at the Price Wave Pool. Limited opportunities. So if you want to get yep. on that, yep. take note. And we're leaving Price to check out another spooky tunnel. Tell me about the Alberta Slant Tunnel. So when you go out, to, this one's a little trickier to, to find. But if you just Google Alberta Slant Tunnel, there's one road. And right before you, you go up a hill and before you get into the canyon, the road can also veer to the right. Take that. Okay. Um, we do it in a minivan, so if our minivan can make it, anyone can make it. <laughs> uh, it's a little rocky, but you can make it. And then you just follow that for maybe, I don't know, a third of a mile. And it's an old train tunnel, and it's huge. I was going to say, the pictures yes. put it into scale. It's massive. It's massive, yeah. It, I wish we had thought ahead of time and built a fire in there. It would have been really kind of spooky. But my kids, I think, this is our second thing that we did that day, and I think they were a little nervous by that point. So. Yeah, <laughs> you'd officially we would have creeped them out a little right, bit. Right, right. But the light coming in, if you hit it at the right time of day, the pictures are cool. Both, yes, and so it runs, so you would see it for the sunset or the sunrise. It would be really neat. All right, there's a restaurant nearby with sort of a scary background, you say. Yes, so you have to go through Santa Quinn to get to Alberta. Stop at the um, Leslie's Family Tree restaurant. That one, I'm, I am not going to lie. It's... I couldn't stay in there very long. Like, the restaurant part was great, easy, and then she took me to the back, and she'll do it for anyone and everyone. And it was really weird feelings. What were you seeing? What were you hearing? You could just feel, and you do, you hear weird things like a bell. And she's like, that one, we don't know where that bell even comes from. Yeah. Oh, and, gosh. And then she opens this trap door and says, do you want to go downstairs where everyone else? I'm like, no. Now, no. who's this guy? Does she have an assistant in the back ringing the bell? No. <laughs> and she, her, it's been in the, it's been in her family, this restaurant, and she, they actually do ghost tours. So you could call them, and her daughter will say after closing hours every weekend and give you a ghost tour. Wow. And you will sit down, that scary, creepy thing that I... It was, a, and I kid you not, a creepy feeling. You got the vibe. Yeah. Which I guess we kind of seek this time of year. Yeah, we do. Whatever for some reason. reason. I know. The food's good too, though. The food was super good. Super duper good. Their scones are ginormous, and they had the, the best honey butter I've ever had. So it was that well worth it, yes. Calm your heart and yep. soothe your stomach all at the same time. <laughs> I should have time. done that in reverse, yes. Gone <laughs> into the scary part and then eaten. But all I, right, we're moving on to Park City. What did you find in that area? Oh my goodness. Every, every night of the year, they do a ghost tour. And that one was fantastic because the tour guide gives you the history of Park City and it was a really dangerous scary town and then they you walk along Main Street and they show you we'll stop at a house and tell you the scary ghost and they've done a ton of research and then it, it starts to get nervous and your heart's beating <laughs> but then you wave, woo, wave goodbye to the ghost kind of breaks attention and then you walk and so it really breaks attention until the next spot and then it builds again it was really Fantastic. Do you like this jittery feeling you're describing? Not really, no. You're not that thrill seeker? No, but I did enjoy it because I liked how we could break up that tension between. Sure. For the sake of research, you enjoyed it on right. our behalf, and we're grateful. Yes. Another ghost tour you recommend, the Provo Pedal Ghost Tour yes. in Utah County. And this one is relatively new. It's a bunch of 
they looked like BYU kids. I don't know if they are. Um, and you just ride your bikes. You meet at the cemetery, and they tell you they have done some history. And you meet at the cemetery. They tell a couple stories. This one I would recommend 14 and up. Okay. Because you do cross busy streets at night. Uh huh. And if they're young children, they may not make it across. This one has a cost. It does have a cost. It's ten dollars a person. Okay. Um, but they go around. You just ride your bike, and they stop. Same similar principle as Park City, and they tell you some. Some of the stories are really um, morbid. And I was like, oh, goodness. But the tour guide did a fabulous job. They like, did their was, research yeah, and they, they sold it? They sold it. Okay. It was oh my gosh, fantastic. Your last pick, I mean, forget the restaurant. Forget the seller of the restaurant. This one sounds really scary. scary. What, where's Mill Fork Cemetery? So you go up Spanish Fork Canyon, and before you get to the top, which is Soldier Summit, about two miles south, or I don't even know direction, two miles before the summit, you will see a gate, and I think I sent a picture, yep, and that's just off on the left-hand side, and if you, you can drive up there, it's legal. Okay. Um, the cool thing about it, if you could hit it in the evenings, there is a, re that bridge, a really cute, I don't know if I would go across it because it looks quite rickety, uh -huh. but just the wind blowing through that cemetery oh, and gosh. the old, and it's an old mining cemetery and they don't take care of it, and it's, it was, that one we took just my husband and I, and we, you know, you, you just naturally build yourself up, but yeah. you could hear things. And I don't know if it was the wind, but it was Talk about cool. Halloween reality <laughs> scene right here in Utah. Fun. Where can we find more ideas from you? At Wandering Families on Instagram or wanderingfamilies.com. All right, Shemaine, thank you so thank much. You. Let's put a link on our website, too, to make it easy, studio5.ksl.com.